I got this, right? Yeah, I got this. Freya shouldn't be much farther now. Just need to look out for that big door. Hello down there. Hey! Come to your senses yet? Yes. I mean, uh, I'm not changing my mind. Ha! You do have doubts. Hey! 
Like you never do? Better than having regrets. I'm not sure I agree with that, but by all means, keep going and you might find those too. Just be sure to scream if she starts killing you. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Yep. That's the door. Hey, Freya. What? Can't I pay an old friend a visit? Nothing wrong with that, right? I mean, just because I'm responsible for the death of your son doesn't mean... Okay, yeah. You probably avoid mentioning that. Is that Freya? Am I wearing this around my neck? The arrow tip that killed your son? That's a great question. Uh... I'm so dead. Here goes nothing. with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it. <clears throat> what do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? You mean to plead for your father, <clears throat> save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin, <clears throat> nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us! Offered peace if we don't move against him! Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The Giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The Giants have prophecies about me. They know me as... Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin, somehow. But since all the Giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again! I am far from whole! Okay. Okay. But we found here. 
Maybe if you spoke to him. Tears alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Sorto Farm. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together. Enough. Enough! <laughs> Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? I was starting to think... Sindri, I told you. I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh... Where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh... Got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! Yama! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Ha! <laughs> Or something else tries to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Did they ever quit? Uh. 
Saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Brock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been eating at me lately. You have to tell him. He has a right to know. When the time is right. As should you with your father. That's not the same thing. You did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well... You can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. Oh! <sighs> So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? <laughs> Tyr was such a failure. Just wanted now to... Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there... I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you just act natural, but quickly.
is not the risk that concerns me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the Giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother. Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry. I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Uh. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? Seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. Who better than the seer who saw everything? Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um. Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey, don't go forgetting this, what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Tyr, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, Whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So... Where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a lost step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that interest he'll see for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. He really did it. Tyr really slept in my broom closet. Is that normal for you tall, godly sorts? Or just the ones locked up for a lifetime or two?
Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an Alpine seed. Clearly, you have important matters afoot. Svartalfheim remains at your disposal if you have unresolved business amongst the dwarves. That seed you found unlocks Niflheim of all places, a realm as ancient as it is vaguely sticky. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the land of the elves. Sure, I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever roam traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of dark elves to get to the light. You interfered in the elf war. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. The Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. They seemed better now. <laughs> Did they now? Alfheim. It's been so long. I'm not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa's shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. See the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> the 
Yikes. Fimble winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble winter. A living desert. Huh. It was once full of life, you know. And music. The song of the sands, he calls it. Oh! Gone now. Another victim of <gasps> I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. What do you hear? Feels like some kind of animal. How could anything live in a storm like that? Plenty of caves under the desert. Not exactly a paragon of comfort, but the Dark Elves get on best they can. Perhaps we can reach that brazier from above. Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Good eye. Bifrost eyes. Is everything okay? Hi, old friend. Just looting no one of your chests. We'll be right along. My dad likes loot. Ah. Very well. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. to get rid of those things. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like moss on a fallen tree. Truly a wonder of the Nine Realms. Oh, I didn't know it could do that. There's a gap in the fence over there. Very clever.
Ripped apart by his audience. Well, one member of his audience. Well, Thor. Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Is that a bomb? We're the ones who freed the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alpha. Behind you! Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. Tribute to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A charm to ward off nightmares. In this case, Freyr's. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. So tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. 
How do we enter? Grab that wheel and I'll show you. 